Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today, I'm actually out in Toronto, which is why I'm in this car currently. Uh, my grandma is having her 80th birthday party. It's a surprise, but we have a lot of fun things going on for her right now. She's actually out in a nail salon getting a pedicure done, which is something I did not want to do uh, because my nails are just perfect. Who knew? I want to talk about something really fun though, and that's the StubHub upgrade policy. Now, many other resale websites also have their own upgrade policy, but we're just going to focus on StubHub because it is kind of like the standard baseline. Many others also have the same policy, so it's kind of what we're going to use as our discussion point today. Let's dive into it. Now, very simply, if you buy a ticket on StubHub, you're basically going to get what is listed there. But if they're going to be upgraded, it's going to end up being in that same section within five rows better. So if you're in row 15, you could end up all the way in row 11 if that's what the ticket seller is actually going to fulfill your tickets with. Um, it's just kind of a standard upgrade policy for StubHub. Reason behind it is twofold. One is sometimes sellers will just inadvertently put the wrong row because they are just crazy. Who knows? It happens sometimes. I've done it before. Everyone's kind of done it, I'm sure. Maybe not everybody. Some people. Some people are perfect. Some people are just so perfect. Anyway, I've made that mistake before, so in the, if that happens to you, not a big deal. You can always upgrade within five rows better. And it also sometimes is done for people who are trying to mask their actual row of their seats. Uh, reason behind that is sometimes some venues or events, they don't actually, they're very serious in terms of canceling orders um, if they find them being resold. And so what someone will do is, you know, they'll push their tickets up about five rows higher uh, just to protect where their actual seats are so that when they're delivered, the person who's buying the tickets will get the proper seats. Again, with, as long as it's within five rows better than what is actually being listed and sold on StubHub, you're good to go. Oh yeah. Now, it should be noted that this policy is not the case for every type of event. Specifically with horse racing and auto racing, the upgrade policy works in reverse. So if you bought a ticket in row 10, the upgrade policy will work if you're going up. So if you, if you bought tickets that were in row 11 and they're fulfilled in row 15, that's considered an upgrade. It sounds a bit counterintuitive when you think about it, but it actually kind of makes sense because what's happening is you're going to get a better vantage point of what's actually happening at that event. Uh, if you ever look at what you know ticket prices for the Kentucky Derby are going for, take a look and just at different maps, you'll see that the higher you go, the better vantage view you have. And that's where kind of all those, you know, millionaire row clubs and all the other fancy rich people with all their big massive hats, that's where they're all sitting. And so that's kind of how the policy works. Again, horse racing and auto racing, Higher row you go, better seats you get. Within five rows, no big deal. Now, let's get into a few more things. Football, concerts, and... So, with football and concerts, you cannot be upgraded into a row that is within the first 10 rows of the event. Why is that? Hey, good question, hey! The uh, reason behind that is because the vantage view just sucks in the first 10 rows. So with football specifically, if you're within the first 10 rows, the problem you'll run into if you're in like kind of the lower bowl, the problem is that you're just too low. You can't see over the players' heads. There's a lot of things in your way. There might be cameras in your way. It's just, it can be a problem. And then it, what happens is you just don't get a good view. And so what they, what Soho is preventing is from people going from, you know, row 12 and then trying to push them into row nine. You know, they don't want people to have that bad view. You really want to be, you know, middle, upper kind of sections within the lower bowl of football. So they are preventing people from getting that upgrade done. Same thing with concerts. Yes, the experience can be a lot better, a lot more fun if you're moved into that first 10 row area, but your actual view is not gonna be as good. Because the stage is raised, you might be too low. Your eye level will be at the stage level. Uh, and then you're just looking up, 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 not ideal. So StubHub has this policy in place to prevent that from actually happening. So, with all that being said, what is it that you should do if you're buying tickets on StubHub? First thing you should do is obviously double check the order that you bought versus what you actually received. If you find everything's the same except for the row, um, if it's within five rows better than what you purchased, nothing you can do there. It means you're getting a free upgrade. Congratulations, you made it. If you find that the row is actually worse though, definitely call StubHub customer support right away. They're gonna work with you to make sure you get the right tickets. Sometimes it could have just been an incorrectly fulfilled order. Now, if you're in one of those special circumstances where it's um, moving into the first 10 rows of the actual venue, then always make sure that you're contacting the hub right away. The policy specifically states they can't, sellers cannot push you into the first 10 rows. Um, if you prefer those tickets, by all means, you're go ahead, keep them, that's fine. That's what you received. But if it's not something you want, then you obviously have the right to contact StubHub, get them to fix it. 
uh, and you will be made whole. Now, last thing I wanna mention is other websites have very similar types of fan guarantees. Again, make sure you read all their different policies. Sometimes you won't actually see the upgrade policies online because they're specifically tailored to the seller side. Um, but if you ever do have questions or you see the tickets don't match, make sure you contact the uh, customer support team right away. They'll make sure that tickets you got are the ones you're supposed to get. And that makes you a winner if you get some free upgrades. Everyone loves free upgrades. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. I'll take it all day. Amazing, amazing stuff. So if you like upgrades, hit that like button. If you love upgrades, leave me a comment. And if you especially love upgrades, definitely subscribe because I want to make sure that you get the best tickets possible every single time. All right, so that kind of covers everything for today. And I'll see you guys next time.